something uh, ahead of the simplify now, right? So let's install. Uh, sorry, let's import up the things. I'm going to write one equation so a square plus 2a plus 5 just making you remember of the things if I substitute the values a by 5 40 right if I say an expression that is going to be a sine of x so this is my expression sine x so if I say substituting the values of x what is the value of sine pi Answer quickly. Minus one. 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 No, no, zero, zero. Cause is here. Zero. Okay. Sine pi value. Sine pi by two is uh, one. No, no. I'm asking sine pi value. So zero. Yes. It's not a value thing. Value is not coming. Sign fire should be zero. Sine pi is zero. Nice. Okay. So substituting, I believe that's it's clear to you, right? Tell the things over there. Okay. Now uh, we did the last topic at simply. Uh, sorry, simplify. Right. The last was the simplify, and we were uh, just looking at that. If we just want to write an equation and don't want to simplify it, right? Then we don't want to evaluate it. So we can use the simplify method. So if I write one equation there, like uh, simplify, what's the value, right? 11 by 5. But if we want to present it, what we can do? Evaluations to be Words. 
1 plus 1 by 5 plus 10 by 5. So you can write it accordingly, right? Evaluation to be false to be getting up the same thing, right? What's the area of a circle? Hmm? Pi r square. Pi r square. Where is that chart? Pi r square. Nice. So, how you are going to write it? Like this. If you just don't want to calculate it, pi r square. Right? So, uh, we can write the values of R to calculate it up if we write that, uh, if we have this equation pi r square and here we are, if we are writing, let's say this is the area, This is the area of a circle. Now you have two methods, right? Uh, how to print up the things. Uh, you, you can write area underscore of circle dot like. Can you write the substitution method and let's say that in the place of r you are giving the value of 5, which will be like 25 pi, obviously, right? What about if I want to get the exact values there? We can use some function called as evolve. Right? We can use the evolve function. Evaluation. The functions, uh, it will be evaluating the value using the function. Right? So we can write, uh, before the substitute, we can write evolve. Okay? And then substitute. value of r with 5. Sir, could you repeat this eval? I had little network issue, could not hear you. Sorry? Can you please repeat the eval? I had a little network issue, couldn't hear you clearly. Yeah, 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 sure, sure. See, uh, what is eval is this returns you an evaluated mathematical expression value for like, uh, basically for the function, right? So, uh, for any mathematical expression you write, you use eval method find out the value of it when you are working with the functions like let's say you want to find a square root right okay before doing this uh, I'm going to give you an example let's say uh, you write an expression that is going to be a square root of 9 so what is ex that is 3 right now if I say that uh, let's say this is f and if I say your ex dot right so before going to this, g equals to ex dot eval and let's say it to be okay, as per right? So if you just print a g, it will be like a value, right? basically a mathematical expression, just an evaluation method I it's like kind. We say simplify, we say evaluate, so let's say evaluate the function, that's it, okay? Yeah. Now, what is so? All right. So simply we are doing here like uh, let's see, clear, clear, clear. Hmm. So a of a circle evaluating the value substituting by five. R value by five will be getting the values exactly seventy eight point five three. Right. So by default floating point is up to the fifteen digits. You should remember other things, right? By default it is up to the fifteen digit and can be overbidden by any number up to like 100 and whatever you want, right? Okay, now if you give your precedence, it can be also there, right? If you want, let's say, you want only three uh, thing. See, only three numbers would be there. So now, like kind of uh, evaluate it up to what digits you want, right? So you write three, that's your precision, okay? 
similar to this, there we have a function called as lambda phi. Okay, so this lambda phi function translates your simply expressions. What you write, like whatever the expressions you write, just convert the expressions into Python functions. Okay, so if an expression is to be evaluated over a large range of a values, the eval function what we use now is like not very much efficient to work on there. So there we use lambda phi like a lambda function. Right in the Python we have lambdas and all right. It converts the thing over there. Right. Similar to this we have lambda phi. Okay. Lambda you know right in the lambda function of the Python. How many of you don't know the lambda? Anyone who don't know the lambda? Lambda, you know, lambda is for explaining funds. Okay, fine. See, what is lambda is uh, basically a small anonymous function. Okay, so you could take as many as parameters you want. Right. So uh, one argument is to be taken. You can uh, sorry, sorry. You can take a number of arguments over there, but can have only one expression. So for one expression. The number of arguments you want to take, you can take any number of arguments. Like its syntax is like you write lambda. It's basically a anonymous function. You can use it like a function. So you write lambda and then you write your arguments here there, and then you write the expression. That's the syntax. Writing this lambda, right? So let's give a small example to you. You can understand it very well. So we're going to create a lambda that can add some values to the number passed in an argument and then we'll work on that's it, right? So let's say this is my S and I'm using lambda. So I say that lambda A, A plus 10. What's it there? What is it there? What you can see? What you can uh, like? make a relation with this. Hmm? So this is a lambda function that adds 10 to the number passed in an argument. What is S? Right? A function. Function. So if I say S of 10, what I am going to write? If I say S of 10, I am going to get 20. You know, write the function, see, it's basically write a function, like let's say uh, x of any parameter you are going to write there, okay? 3. Oh, no, no, not like this. could say like uh, x is equals to 10 let's say right so what you are doing is now the only thing that you are adding one more value like you, if you write s of 10 this is exactly you are adding 10 to the previous one and so does you are getting the values of the x respectively right so here you are writing it as s so what is being done you have created a lambda function that adds 10 to the number right so a it adds uh, 10 to the number Right, so what is A now here? What is A? So we are doing S of 10. That means previously there is 10 1 there, right? And we are adding more 10 to this and storing it in the A, in the lambda A, right? And we are getting it in the S. So that's a function, right? Think is as a kind of a function like this, okay? Think it like this. Like this. So define a function a where you are adding 10 to a and returning the s, that's it. Okay, think it up like that. It will be easier to understand. You write x of uh, s of 30. What will be the value? Obviously 40, 30 plus 10, it's a 40. So you can take as many as the arguments you want. Let's say you are making a lambda function that multiplies arguments with a and b. Very easy one, I'm giving you an example. So let's say this is lambda a b, it's a multiplied by b. 
right? So A and B will be having the values of A multiplied by B. So what if I write 5 comma 6? Obviously, it is going to be a 30. Understood? Anyone having any confusion? Working as a kind of a function, a very small function, 2 cross 3, 6, right? So for making a sum, what you do? You take inputs of A, B and C. You take it something like this, and then you return something, right? You make a function of a sum, what it, what it is being there, right? If you write S, so three positional arguments are missing, A, B and C. If I write S of 1, 2 and 3, I get 6, 3 plus 2 plus 1, 6. Similarly, if I say, yeah? If I say C is equals to lambda, and I take three parameters, A, B, and C, and can I write to what to be returned? A plus B plus C, right? Oh, let's say to be B, okay? So A plus B plus C, that's a lambda function, basically. So if I say B of 1, 2, 3, what am I going to get? 6, clear to everyone having any doubts still? So, so that is the syntax, right? Lambda a comma b comma c. Because anyways, uh, that is not making any difference, no? A comma b comma c. Like the main thing is a plus b plus c, no? Mm -hmm. See, okay. this, these three are your arguments. So you can take okay, as okay. many arguments you want. But there should be only one expression. Okay, if you see the syntax, as much arguments you want, you can take it there. But you you can take only one expression. That's the thing. Got it? Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, Ojas, you are clear with this? No, still you are having yes, sir. Clear, right. Okay, fine. So, hmm. So we were at lambda five. So it works according to that, right? So let's say there is an expression that is, let's say, one by sine of x. Mm, x is being taken as something else. Y. So one by sine of y. So what is my expression? One by sine y. So now, if I want to give any values to be there. Hmm. If I want to add some values, so if I write uh, EXPR or lambda phi, the value of Y, right? Uh, EXPR. Okay, done. So let's store this in somewhere. Let's say this is f, which is going to be lambda phi of x, sorry, of y in the exPR, okay? And then uh, making the y value, uh, so let's just like uh, taking the y values, let's say if it is np dot phi. Hmm? NumPy is not defined. Or let's say. Value, so why to take the whole thing? Oh god, from math import pi, and if I write f of pi, that's it. So I'll get the values accordingly. What is being done there? 1 by sine of pi. You're getting the values of 1 by sine of pi. If I say, like, it was a quite uh, messy, right? So let's take a good one. So this is a square plus b square. If I say f is going to be, think of 
like a function I'm using lambda phi okay and I'm saying that uh, I have to write uh, give the arguments as a and b okay that I'm using and in which e expression this is the expression so first you write the arguments what you uh, what you want and then you write so uh, you have to write in what expression it's it is to be evaluated okay so that's done and then you write the values let's say 2 and 3 to get the values 2 plus 3 I write the expression work accordingly like right? your expression is a plus b plus c okay and let's say f to be amplify what is to be done a b and c where in the expression so write expression of 1 2 and 3 answers got it clear any doubts? No, sir. Mm. Okay. Moving next. So, this is like a lambda, lambda phi, and how, all that, how it works. Okay. Fine. Next, we have is a algebraic complex composite numbers, even numbers, odd numbers, imaginary integers, positive, negative. Oh. Alright, fine. That is not of a much big deal to work, right? So we deal with the expand uh, in the previous class, right? If I say expand of What's the expand of a plus b multiply by a minus b? Answer quick. A square minus b square. A square minus b square. What's the expand of? What if I write expanding x plus 1 multiply by x minus 2? Minus x minus one multiplied by x. What's the expand of this? Values. Hmm. Unsupported. So uh, this is x. Minus two. Okay. Right. So let's now take up some questions with the factorization. I, I I was about to give you the questions for factorization, but we didn't complete it in the last day. So let's take questions from there. Factorizations. Good questions of factorization x cube plus 3x square minus okay remember the equation guys x cube plus 3x square minus 6x minus 18 x cube plus 3x square minus 6x minus 18 x cube plus 3x square minus what is there minus 6x minus 18 minus 6x minus 18 The equation of this is equals to zero. Hmm. What is going to be the factorization of this? Answer. Hmm. Factorize. What is the solution of the x? X yeah. square plus three minus six into x plus three. So mm -hmm. x square plus six into x. Not clear. X square into x plus three minus six into x plus three. So x, x okay. minus okay. 6 into x plus 3. Okay. And what is the value of x? So see for factorization we will just use the factor. 
find with factorization. Is this the answer? X square minus X multiplied by X, X plus 3? Right, sir. Okay, 5. So, the basic factorization, right? Any, any good example, like any good question could be there factorized. Uh, any nice question? Means factor completely. <laughs> factorize. Factor. What is completely factorized? Okay, factorizing this. This is expanding something. I think. Three x minus five x square. Not a good question. Okay. Let's solve something. Factorize this. Okay. Factorize this one. 48 5a minus 2b minus 70a. Uh, sorry, 75 2a minus 5b. Yes. You guys. Factorize this. And not in the copy. <laughs> Machine. True. Do in your laptop. Write the equation 48. Multiplied by 5a minus 2b whole square minus 75 multiplied by 2a minus 5b whole square. 48 5a 2b 75 2a 5b. I'm also writing 48 5a minus 2b whole square. 48 5a minus 2b whole square. Minus 78 or 75? What is that? 75. 75. 2A minus 5B. That's still. 2B minus 5B. So 2A. Hmm? 2A. Integer object is not callable. Where here? Anywhere else done. So this is the expression. Mm. Nine ten a minus eleven b ten a plus seventeen b. Answer is this so? Where is the answer? Yeah, nine ten a minus eleven b and ten a plus seventeen b. It's easy, right? You see. So it is quite cool. One, two, three, four, five lines, six lines. And we did in one line. X4 plus X square plus Y square plus Y4. Hey, this is X. Uh -oh. Yeah. When I'm doing it in, on Jupyter, it's saying invalid syntax for uh, the variable. Okay, one second. Present the screen. So, uh, I, what should I import? I mean, I've imported simply the equitable. That's why I'm saying. What exactly the error you are getting? Can you see the screen? Yeah, you are presenting now. I have uh, present. I have imported this, but uh, mm -hmm. this is showing invalid mm -hmm. syntax. Mm -hmm. One minute. Let's zoom it for once. See, uh, in the five y and the two x, you have missed the uh, asterisk sign. Okay. All right, so this is going to be the factorization of this. And if you want to see the solutions using solve, and this is the equation, right? For the values of A minus, uh, minus 17B by 10 and 11B by 10. All right. Nice. So it was x4 plus y x square y square plus y4. Answer quickly. Uh, I think that's very easy. x square plus y square and divide by 2. Yeah, okay. Hmm. 
answer what is the solution of that no sorry factorization of that how many of you are doing yesterday i say i think you should practice mean a while let us see x square minus x y plus y square x square plus x y minus y square is this so yes nice so like this you can solve factorization i am not giving getting a good question might be in the audi sharma book with a not getting even my audi So this simply can also be used for finding physics dimensions and a lot of things, right? Uh, any good question? What is there? This one is nice. X cube, y square, z square plus. So if we write a wrong question, we will get a wrong answer. It is not clear. X cube, y square, z square, x cube, y square, z square. Anyone who could read this from where this is coming? NCRT solutions Vedant. NCRT which class? Eight. Okay. Did you solve this kind of questions in class eight? Hmm, yeah, solve this one. Eight x cube y square. Okay, it is not clear. Leave it right. Going for next thing. I believe you can do factorization. Right. You just only have to write factor function. That's all. Right. So you can go. So, uh, I'm writing the factor function. It's saying it's not defined. Factor is not defined. F capital. Yeah. Okay. What are you writing? F capital. Spelling the. I'm writing both. Even though I've imported simply just uh, in one line about it, I try to import again. I will see. Uh, actually, sir, a lot of times in Jupyter, mm -hmm. uh, you don't get like after a while, just stop getting the output, uh, and sometimes it just glitches and doesn't and says the function is not defined even when you have defined the function. Mm -hmm. And you uh, happens sometimes. sometimes have to restart the whole thing. Is there? Is it like just a glitch or? Can you do something to avoid it? Yeah, it is like uh, when you are working for a long time, right? So what happens? Like if you don't close it, and if you are working for a for a long time, like I do, I never close my Jupiter. <laughs> Once I close in a week, right? Only on Saturday, and left the whole week it is like on. So like, uh, so I keep it open, right? Why? Because uh, it happens. Like once you open and close. And it kind of a glitch you can say on right. It may be due to the RAMs. Uh, happens many a time. What is the RAM of a machine? Four GB. Uh, check. I think it's more than four GB. Eight GB. Okay. Mostly it happens in the four GB. When I was using Windows, uh, I was having once four GB. It was like uh, after every two hours. It was like one case, and also see when you are working in your file, right? After like one day, right? If you close it, and when you reopen, so what you do is you click on this restart the kernels, and if you face any kind of thing, like well, most of the time it happens, like it shows a star symbol here, a stick symbol, uh, and it like keep on executing and executing, and no output yeah, is being that's, generated. That's the thing. Yeah. So you can just stop it, and then you can again run it. Otherwise, if you are getting some error like module is not defined this is not defined that is not defined you can just click, uh, simply click this and everything would be run again okay so you write this one line from simply import sfx and then again run this yes uh, i imported again and it's working now working now yeah okay fine 
Right. So I believe that this is fine. Now, similar to factor, we have a factor list. What factor list says that if I write factor list of this EXPR, simplify for some expressions. Is there something wrong? EXPR. Okay. So let's write the equation. X square Z plus Y let's say four X Y Z. factor list of this equation x square z plus 4x y z plus 4 y square z right what is this saying about you you see this is the equation if i say the factor of this equation will give you z x plus 2 y whole square exactly right but what factor list is saying what you can see there 1 then z plus 1 then x plus 2 y plus 2 what is that mm -hmm. see what factor function does opposite of our expand what expand does expanding the equation or the expression right and factor is right just factorizing it very simple right each of the factors are returned just by using a factor function you say right that is irreducible once you have done factor it is not being more factorized right the last factorized value will be getting up there okay now factor list returns a more structured output to you okay and the more structured right you can uh, get the equivalent uh, values not equivalent you can say of like uh, individual values for of the things right if it is z then x plus 2y whole square right so what is z how we factorize of the things right that mathematically when we factorize how we find of the things z plus 1 is for 1 and then then it is x plus 2y plus 2 so here we can say this is x plus 2y plus 2 right so we can say that this is going to be the square of that and like the things exactly if you if you factorize it mathematically in the copy, how we are going to factorize? See, you will be getting these three terms. That is like factor of a list. Okay, a more structure output basically. Right. Similarly uh, to this, there is a function called as collect. Right. So this function collects some additive terms of an expression with right. You can say respect to a list or expression uh, with some rational exponents. Like if I say an expression which is like uh, x y plus x minus 3 plus 2 x square minus e z x square plus x cube. So, if the equation is x cube plus x square, uh, which is x square z, there it is. Why? Yeah, we haven't written minus over there. Why is it going plus? Minus. So, if the equation is x cube minus x square z plus 2x square plus xy plus x minus 3 then if i'm using what if i use factorize is this factorizing is there getting a factorization of this can you get it there no right so here i'm going to use the collect one positional requirement is missing uh, let's say collection with the x right so i'm getting some sort of factorization here you can say uh, right so collecting the x in the one side and then making it a kind of an equation 
right? What the similar things we do while before factorization, what we do is collecting up the same uh, uh, coefficients, you say, right? Collecting up the same things uh, like before it being uh, factorization, right? So just collect some additive terms of an expression with the powers, right? X square will be collected with the X square, X cube will be collected with X cube. It's not like X will be connected with all of the things, right? It is not like taking X common with everything there. Only the powers same would be connected. Right? You can see X, X is being connected, X square, X square is being connected, X cube is being, there is no X cube, right? Other, apart from this. So there is no such things over there. But it, that is how it is being done. Confusion, any confusions over there? Just connecting the X with that powers. That is the use of correct one. So if you write an expression, let's say, ax equals a square plus b square plus b. Let's say only this equation. So if I say expand this ex, a square plus b square plus b, right? Not expand and work. If I say collect, what do you think? What should be the outcome? Collect of A with E X, getting only A because see there is no, uh, if I see B, let's say we are having two terms for the B, so what are you getting? So no such uh, things are there, for A also there is no such powers of A, for B there is only one power of B, so you are getting only the B, if I say even the B square, you will get the B square, but what if I write here as a B square? Right? Sir, mm -hmm. so uh, is now the collect should first uh, take the expression and then the variable, or it can take any one of them as first or second? No, like you took uh, what it does uh, in the 79th input, you took collect and then expression, then the variable name, and in 87th one, you took as uh, first and then the expression. I didn't got it. What are you saying? I'm asking that uh, is there a difference between these two uh, these two function uh, functions like uh, the color collect and then in parenthesis the expression mm -hmm. first mm -hmm. and after that the, uh, the variable name or the x and in the second one it's yeah. Yes. You're asking this right. So this is one actually. Uh, it's, made it that wrong right so ex of b square you're getting a square plus 2b square the collection by this say by uh, ex with b expression same things because there is no such uh, powers to be equating up right so this equates the same powers collected together for form a mathematical equation that's it right very simple you write an equation it collects the same thing with the equal power and form an equation basically that's all right got it clear to you all okay sir thoughts? okay so that's the working of a collect moving ahead next we have had uh, what we say factorize similar to that uh, cancel right like if i say uh, an expression which is going to be uh, a squared Minus b square, a square minus b square, and uh, divided by let's say a minus b. So if this is an equation which says it says that a square minus b square by a minus b, what's the value? What's the value? A plus B equal B. A plus B A minus B. And then A plus B would be the value. Right or wrong? Thinking how much. Okay. So can you write here simplify? A plus B values. Right? 
can you use factor a plus b got it my points and also we can use cancel a plus b clear three things are there cancelling means like if you are having an equation and you want to cancel it accordingly like if you are having a uh, good equation let's say um, what equation should be cancelled x square plus uh, 2x plus 1 by x plus 1 if this is the equation x square plus 2x plus 1 by x plus 1. What is going to be there if I cancel this? Where you guys have gone? Not answer. x plus 1. x plus 1. Nice. So, like you will be first factorizing and then like uh, we will be taking cancel. x plus 1. That's nice. Right? Similar to this, right? For any uh, linear type of equations you are having, you can use this uh, cancel to just cancel of the things, right? Okay, it's very clear. Ah, now coming up to the uh, what is that? Trigonometry, right? So simplification is clear. Basic mathematic operations are clear, I believe, and exponentiations, factors, factor list, and uh, expand, collect, cancel, anything left, yeah, one thing is there, apart, apart is being left, right, so what is apart exactly, you know, right, the partial differentiation you might have done previously, regarding that partial differentiation, that is being used in the apart, right, so if you want to do some partial, uh, fr partial fractions, let's talk about partial fractions, right? so we use apart there, Right, uh, let's say that if you have an equation that actually takes time for a partial fraction to complete it, right? You first have to equate the denominators and then a lot of things are there. So if this 4x cube plus 21x square plus 10x plus 12 is divided by x to the power of 4 plus 5x cube plus 5x square plus 4x. So if this is the expression 4x cube plus 21x square plus 10x plus 12 by x4 plus 5x cube plus 5x square plus 4x. What is the partial fraction of this? Hmm? Partial fraction of this. For those who are from PCM, I'm talking for them. Yes, maths is fun. Partial fraction. How we do it there? Like for any partial different uh, fraction, what we do? The above is like let's say an expression n x plus d uh, n x plus whatever the equation it is. In the below we have some expressions like this, right? What we do is we equate it accordingly. We create some a and b and then we solve it. Like if the, if the equation is like three by x plus two by five by x plus one, so like taking multiplying with the denominators and making it there accordingly like 3 by x plus 2 plus 5 by x plus 1 I'll make one more 3 by what is that x plus 2 and then plus 5 by x plus 1 is that so uh, x minus 1 x plus 2 so this is the equation
So this is the equation, right? So getting the partial fraction of this. Yes, anyone solve this one? How about one? So for the students who are from the PCM would be uh, better understanding this. Like for the commerce one, it might be uh, difficult or like it might, they can also know this right. Depend if they have studied this. I think it's not in the commerce. Partial one might be there. Okay. Yeah, so answer is 8x plus 7 by x plus 2 by x plus 1. So for making a partial fraction, it's very easy, right? You only have to use a part, a partial fraction, and ex of 1. And what is there? Simplify with an evaluation and taking it to be. Okay, 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 okay. Mm. What is this part of ex1? 3 by x plus 2 by 5 plus 6 1 still remains the same. Is this not working? The part of ex, uh, yeah, we got the values 2x plus 1 by x plus 5 plus 1. Anyone solve the first one, getting the same answer, 2x minus 1 by this one out. Anyone solved? Part of... It's to be taken out to the denominators. Sir, what exactly this apart is doing? I mean, I got a little confused in that apart. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, what you are asking, uh, what is Apart doing? Yeah, Apart. Hmm. See, so, uh, it, it creates, basically it creates a, a partial fraction. Okay. We are just able to do partial fraction decomposition of any rational fa function or a rational fa fraction like in the conical form of P by Q. Like what we did is the partial fraction decomposition of any rational number. That's exactly what a part does. Right? What is it? Kidding either here some kind of three pi x plus two polynomial is fine, degree less is fine. Alright, I'll look on to this. Is there with all the questions? Let me see. Is that integral of difficult to integrate using partial fraction x by x square plus 3x minus 4? Partial fractions. What is the thing, man? Four by five x plus four, one by five x minus one is this? So they're getting. What is that difficult to integrate? equals this, 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 a by 4 and all that. Oh, it was easy. Okay. Fine, uh, moving next up here. Not wasting much time with this. Okay. So this is like working of an apart. It performs a, fra a partial fraction decomposition on a rational number. I will look, have to look on this one, why it is not getting. Okay. Rest, each of them are working. Is there any such number I am missing? 3 by x plus 2 plus 5 by x plus 1. That's nice. What is the problem? Equations are okay. Why a part is not working? Shit. Okay, fine. That's it. Moving next, next, coming up to the trigonometric part, right? Uh, we have three, uh, six ratios, side, cos, tan, a sine, a cos, a tan. That's it. We use these things here to find out the values. Okay? And we use one function, for example, to uh, like simplify you can say or otherwise you can use simplify also to simplify any trigonometric identities so to simplify the expressions of a trigonometric identities you use trigsem got it apart from this we will be using expand trig what it does it expands any trigonometric equation you uh, like don't know the formulas and all. So we'll be using up these three, uh, sorry, this much equations of inside the trigonometric equations. Right, so if I say sine of a plus b, what's the formula? Answer. Sine of a plus b. What is 
why I'm using trig zen. Should we expand the trig? Sin A cos B plus cos B sin A. Nice. Okay. Um, what's the value? One second. Let me open my book. So we'll quickly complete this, then we'll go to the integration and differentiation. Okay, so this is like the value of this. What's the value of cot? Uh, let's say I'm writing cos theta, cot theta minus gamma. What's the value of that? Hmm. Answer quickly. Cot theta minus gamma. Easy, right? Cot A minus cot B, that's it. Unary operations type, is there any such thing? Six band. Let's see it. What will not work? Oh, working. Nice. Right. So, cut off this, right? Reverse of the tan. And you get the values accordingly. Remember? So, uh, let's take some values from the uh, like trigonometry. Some of the equations from there. And we'll try to solve some questions. Okay? Nice. Uh, trigonometry is clear to everyone. Till class 10. That is clear to everyone, I believe. Anyone who is not good in trigonometry, or like who is having doubts in trigonometry. See, uh, and the one basic more thing, right? Uh, let's say that if you haven't got like the sign of A is equals to the rational of. 4 by 5. So if this you have got as a kind of an equation, sin A equals 4 by B and you have been asked to find the value of tan A by B, uh, tan A, what's the thing you can do is there then you can say that A is going to be a sign of this 4 by 5. Remember, I, I, I think I discussed this one, right? So, A is equals to this. And then you can say the rational of the tan of A dot limit the denominator by 100 so 4 by 3 got it you can solve it accordingly so now i'll be giving you some questions regarding the trigonometric whoa that's nice tan theta by 1 minus cot theta plus tan theta by 1 minus cot theta eh? cot theta by 1 minus tan theta tan by 1 minus cot cot by 1 minus tan nice question tan by 
run minus cot plus cot by one minus tan theta. So this has to be solved up. I think that is a proof. What is there? 1 plus sec theta cos sec theta. Hmm. Start solving. Find the methods. What you are going to do? You can apply any of these kinds. Factorize, simplify, anything. Trig, zimp, expand, trig, whatever you want. Try solving this. I am also trying. I by two. Minus ten of zero point five five uh, root three I by two. Mm. tan theta plus 1 by 1 plus tan theta ok so 1 plus cot theta plus tan theta so tan theta plus 1 plus 1 by tan theta so we write tan theta plus 1 by tan theta and what do we have proved over there 1 plus sec theta for sec theta and it is much Minus tan square theta, one minus cot square theta, one minus cot theta by one minus tan theta.
blue questions are actually on this country. One plus two by sine two theta cos theta. Ten. this 1 plus sin theta cos theta multiplied by 1.0 that is 1 plus 1 sin sec theta and cos sec theta so it would be 1 plus 1 by sin theta and cos theta that's clear I think that is fine. 1 plus it is 2 by yeah so solved up right but the answer is there why we are again solving it. So this is the answer 1 by 2 by 2 sin theta cos theta that is 2 2 will be cancelled up and we will be getting 1 by 1 plus sin theta cos theta that is ultimately 1 plus cos theta and sec theta right I got it or not right that is uh, simplify Sir, uh, so for if you want to check all the trigo functions which are available, is there any way like you sometimes did help tuple and we saw all the function of tuple? So is it possible even here? Tuple? I didn't get it. No, like, asking. No, no. Means I'm giving example like if you want to check all the functions in the available for trigonometry. So can is there a way to check that? Like sometimes when you check, like earlier we did no help of trigo yeah help of help of uh, tuples and all and we could see all the functions uh, present in tuple so like that is it there in trigo also like all functions we can check you have seen like something like this help of tricks yeah, and uh, about, like yeah i was telling about this only help yeah, yeah. there's no function okay this is not uh, there is something uh, what is that There's something in the help actually, but uh, documentation is I think that's not there. And simply, uh, is it there? Simply, 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 simply. I, I'll have to look on for that. Like, what is in the simply because, uh, as I say, like getting help, see, there is some kind of that it could work if I write some expressions work uh, if I write there in the trig gem let's see is that so yeah got it hmm. so it is there not like this okay you can uh, look on to this with this okay all right so that's it like how we find out the things so this is clear right because here you have got the value it is uh, exactly if you see up here that is uh, where it is 1 plus 2 by sine 2 theta and if we expand sine 2 theta what we are getting 2 sine theta positive that means 1 plus 2 by 
2 sin theta cos theta. That's what it is saying to be, right? So if I solve this simplification, let's say this is ex1. So what is the value of simplify here? It is again still that. So I'll have to like manually write it there. So it is clearly understandable from here. So that is 1 plus 2 by sine 2 theta and so does the values you are getting, right? If I say like draw it is 1 plus 2 by 2 sin theta and cos theta, right? That is 2 to cancel and it's 1 by 1 upon sin theta and cos theta. That is ultimately giving you 1 plus sec theta and cosec theta. So that's the proof we want 1 plus sec theta cosec theta, right? So it's clearly right. Every time it would not work with one such function, you have to work it accordingly, right? So what are the necessary steps? What we did is like first of all we applied the basic step that is trig zen. First of all, we will try to solve it with using the official uh, function, right? A basic function that's trig m. So we solved and we got like tan theta plus one plus one by tan theta. Then what we did? Uh, this was the equation. What is to be solved up? So what we did is, uh, this is not the one to go with. So we like converted this in some sine and cos form, right? And then we simplified this and we got a result that is exactly the answer. One plus two by sine theta. Like if we expand and we solve this, uh, we'll be getting up like that. Okay, that is clear, right? So, you will get some questions on trigonometry like so these are the proofs in the proofs what you'll have you will have to solve it uh, manually everything so that 3 sin square minus 2 cos square theta equals to 1 can be written as this so 3 sin square theta minus 2 cos square theta equals 1 that's 3 sin square theta what is there minus 2 cos square What is that? 2 cos square theta. Is it so? It's one. This is the equation, and it is saying to be like, uh, can we write this in the form of like, can no, no, not can it. <laughs> It can be written as 5 sin square theta equals to 3. Okay. Hmm. It is sin theta is equals to under root of 3 by 5. Or theta will be equals to all those all those. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. 5 sin square theta equals to 3. This is the equation. 3 sin square theta minus 2 cos square theta. So, can we say uh, Ex to be this and can we write Ex dot substitute the value of sin theta square has to be 1 minus cos theta square. So 3 minus 5 cos square theta is equals to 1. Whoa, <laughs> that's great. So obviously 5 cos square theta is equals to, we have to put it in sign or, okay, we have to go in the sign form. Okay, okay, okay. So like substituting the Sin. So 5 sin square theta is minus 
to 5 sin square theta minus 2 is equals to your 1, right? That is equals to 1. So now the equation forms as like eq of this, copy this. So this is equals to 1 and the equation is like something like this, okay? So obviously we can say from here that find sin square theta is equals to 1 plus 2 that is being 3 and then it can be written as that, right? Okay. So you can apply various functions to solve any questions. Hmm? We'll be getting some sort of questions over there.